Wow, big yawn. Good morning. My goodness. Okay. Okay, show me your bowl. Oh, there it is. Move your head. Okay, there it is. Okay, so a lot has happened in my bathroom. Because I got the cat, I had to put all of my cat toxic plants in here. It's currently 6.40. I am working out at 7.30 today. You know I've been blind for years And I've been crying all these Okay, so it's 6.56. I need to cut socks, get my shoes, put on a shirt, and head out the door. Oh my god, I have not introduced you to the vlog. <laughs> Everyone, this is Jarvis. Yeah. <laughs> Jarvi. Okay, he's not with it today, but I call him Jarvi. I got him about three weeks ago. He is about four months old. His birthday was on May 2nd, so... That's a little background on him. Okay, everyone, official good morning. It is around 7.15. I am parked, ready to go. Orange Theory class is gonna happen at 7.30. After that, the real work begins. I have a lot of assignments to do. I am so behind in school. We had an exam last week for our acute management class so i dedicated a lot of time to it however all the class prep work and other journals that are either due today or need to be done for the week has not been done so we're gonna get to it it's the plan for today if you are wanting to see how i get all of these freaking assignments done follow along all right everyone so the first tip i have for you to create a really productive day is to set the mood. I personally love to work out in the morning. I am currently going to Orange Theory Fitness and I absolutely love them. Down here, two on the floor. What's up, man? How are you? Did you have a good nap? <laughs> yeah, you had a good nap. And I nourish my body with whatever I'm feeling. Today, I was going for a meatless taco type of ordeal and let me tell you it was chef's kiss baby so yummy <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is make sure that our workspace is clean and tidy and without any distractions that to me is the best way to have a really productive day having a clean made bed having a candle blowing just setting the mood for the day is what you have to do for reason they came and if you haven't seen um, my prepare with me for my senior year, I highly recommend you watch that. I basically transformed this whole situation. Since then, I actually added a new component, which is kind of like a fake desktop. So my laptop is up here on this wooden crate that my boyfriend actually bought and he took out this part so you can just like store things. This is done actually. So I have my planner and my iPad in here. I have my laptop up here. I actually bought a wireless keyboard and a mouse. All of my nursing things are all over the place. And it's just been a game changer. This side right here is more of my in the mood type of thing because it's not really functional in terms of school, but I like to have candles going. I also have some plants back there and a really cute picture frame and my mirror for whenever I decide to do makeup. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is just get organized. So this is a time where you wanna grab whatever method of organization you use. I use a planner. I have a passion planner. I have the regular gray one and my cute friend Angelica made these stickers and it's just, Perfect. With whatever method of organization you have, you want to go ahead and write down, type down everything you have to do for the entire week. Okay. He's being a bad boy. Are you being a bad boy? Once you have 
every single assignment for the week for yourself written down we are gonna then break them up into the prospective days you want them to be done so today is sunday the 27th tomorrow is the 28th and that's also hunter's birthday so i know for a fact that on monday i don't want to be too involved with school so i'm gonna write everything down that i need to get done on sunday and we'll share together i feel like a freaking teacher memories of you fill my head recently i've been thinking about your smiling hair instead of focus i have everything that i need to get done from sunday to saturday and this is all of the assignments and with that i go by the deadlines and when the classes start everything on here is due for today but because these are almost done i'm gonna focus my time on this once i'm done with that I'll go ahead and do these other items. I want to point out that we're not machines, so it is truly important to take breaks. Whether it's a 5, 10, 30 minute break, even an hour, you definitely have to schedule those in. So after every two chunks of assignments that I have, I will do some type of break depending on how I feel. My number one tip is to get away from your workspace because your workspace should only be for work. And another thing that really helps me just keep going is to have benchmarks so when you finish the two assignments and you know that you're gonna have a break do it with something fun so it could be making a cup of coffee making some tea cuddling with your pet whatever it is make it so it suits you and it makes you keep wanting to work so for instance after my 440 paper and my ihw reflection i'm gonna go ahead and make a cup of coffee and then after that i'm gonna get back to work to do my clinical stuff and my NCLEX prep class, which is a joke, but we're gonna do those. Ooh, I've been missing you these nights. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is the sound of a submitted assignment, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and cross off the things I did and finally go have some lunch. We finished editing the 440 paper. We finished the IHW reflection. I didn't take a break in between these, just had enough energy to keep going. So I finished my DPC4 clinical as well as my client story and I turned those in. To do for today is the three EAQs for my NCLEX prep class and then my newborn concept so map. it's definitely time for lunch but I want some caffeine. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, you follow me out. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and make some caffeine. We're gonna go feed the baby. We are gonna actually have a caramel oat iced coffee because that's what I have. Ooh, I've been missing my a sunny yeah, one more. Day. One more. The sunny day we spent with you in town. Walking down that sunny street, passing. Jeremy, you are not allowed to leave by the. It's hot. You are so heavy. Clueless about the world outside, just focusing on the nice. I miss those sunny days I spent with you. No matter what the season is, I still be thinking about you in a summer, spring, or fall. No matter night or day at school or home or even when I'm sleeping, I'll be dreaming about you. I miss the sunny smile you placed on my face. Sometimes I think reading you was a mistake. The best. It's currently 1.30. I still have to do my EAQs, which I told you guys about before. I only have two quizzes left and it doesn't take more than 30 minutes to complete both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and over with. And then around two o'clock, my goal is to go purchase some headbands. Hi, look who's here. Look who's here. I'm gonna go purchase some headbands from Hello Headband. They dropped today at two o'clock and they are known to like sell out really fast. So hopefully I can get the, the headbands that I want. It is the website I was talking to you folks about. It is 150. 157 these are the ones that i want this is for like working out 
I'm sure I can use all of them to work out in, but this has like a really nice backing. I also want this one and the sand leopard one. It's going live in five seconds. It's go time, baby. It's go time. Why isn't it? <sighs> Got it, baby. Oh my god, okay, that was a whirlwind. I didn't realize that only a certain that only certain um bands were gonna be out or restocked. So the ones that I wanted originally, <laughs> they were not they were not restocked, so I couldn't get them. Um instead I got these. Hold on. So I just went for the solid black wide band and the leopard one that I wanted. I don't remember buying this, but I was in such a rush and I just clicked it. $31 for two headbands, which is pricey. However, they will just, they're gonna be needed in my life. Okay, so it's 2.45. I was able to skim the section that was assigned for <clears throat> reading for the newborn concept map. I got all of the headings and I just basically put it on a Word document. Um, from there, I was able to focus my reading on what I needed to write about and that really saved a lot of time. So what I normally do is I just go throughout the book and I kind of look for the headings that match up with how the headings are set up in my concept map. And just like that, I did everything that I've planned to do for the day. And the most exciting part about it is crossing it off. I cannot begin to tell you how relieved I feel. These times are definitely more demanding because we are all at home, all taking online classes. Just remember that you are not a robot. You have to have scheduled in breaks and it is okay if you are not productive every single day. You need to take care of yourself. You need to show yourself some love and just relax because you cannot be running on an empty tank you'll die out. Seriously. It's a thing. I hope you had an amazing day. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun to make. It's kind of like a how-to slash vlog style slash meet my cat. Oh, amazing. Days are getting brighter. I will talk to you guys very soon. Till then, take care because I care. Also, thank you for bearing with me. My uploading schedule is whack. I will get it figured out. I just need to figure out a really good way to prioritize. Okay, bye. But I want